so we have difficult, different, difficult circumstances in childhood, and yet, which is again a mystery, they can be seen in the birth child. Now, this is where psychoanalysis, psychotherapy, and astrology come together. We don't know why we have the parents we have, and why we have the circumstances we have, and why we have certain lacks and wounds from our childhood. Yet, we see it in the astrological chart. <coughs> so that's the most wonderful connection between astrology and psychoanalysis. And this is where I think a new science is being developed between the two disciplines. And I think this is what psychological astrology is really about. That's the hard, the very hard, hard, you know, that Core. is alive, yes. like a heart of the discipline. This, is, this explains why astrology is, for many people, such a, it makes so much joy and interest into it, because you discover your own unconscious, and there is no better way of digging your unconscious than with, a, with, a, with the help of psychological astrology. But you have to have a good person who can help you. Alchemists always worked in pairs, and this is also true in psychoanalysis and psychological astrology. Uh, Matthias, uh, <clears throat> some time ago I talked with a psychology professor and he said, oh, psychoanalysis, that's something from 100 years ago. We don't teach that anymore at university because it's not effective. We have better theories now. What do you think of that? Yes, it's very interesting that psychoanalysis, it, it's coming back to universities, but universities are hesitant to accept psychoanalysis. Um, psychoanalysis rests on the analytic relationship. So Dragonine has said about something about objective and subjective. It is where the objective and subjective come together. So psychoanalysis is very much the sixth house. It's, a it's about being able to connect the theory, the very basic theory of psychoanalysis, with practical work. And this is the most difficult part of psychoanalysis. And it has nothing to do with university. Universities with rare and respected um, um, exceptions, they don't teach us about the working Thing, how we work in uh, psychoanalytic psychotherapy practice, how we work in counseling, for example, session with psychological astrology. It is simply not there. So I think this is the deeper reason why psychoanalysis and counseling with the psychological astrology is not on universities, because universities teach us, they still teach us the very theoretical, pure, out of relationship, objective truth. And I think this is a very important thing. Yes, but it's not because they teach us that, that we should follow it. Mm -hmm. so. so this practical sixth house, everyday way of working together with each other in group, which is so essential in psychoanalysis and psychological astrology, it has to have a separate space. It is, uh, in Serbian there is a word called zanat. It is a skill. It is a craft. Yes. It is a practical craft. Like, like a astrologer, a psychoanalyst has, has to be matured. Like a good wine, or a cook, or a technician, or somebody who builds houses, or an artist. They have to be in practice for a long time before they become what they are. And it has nothing to do with university. No, but it's also important that he is also 
but he's also moving in therapy, yeah? mm -hmm. to be a very good one, mm -hmm. and to another psychoanalyst yes. or some. That's the basis for. That's the basis, that's the basis for. Yes, eh? For the. Uh, for any training. That's it. So if you are in a psychological astrology training, yeah. in psychoanalytical training, in psychotherapy training, in all three of them, <coughs> that's the basic yeah. laboratory for your development. This is why. Mm -hmm. So this somehow doesn't fit into your university model. We need university, but we need something else. We need a different kind of learning from each other. Uh, if you want to become a good psychoanalyst, good psychological astrologer, good astrologer, good psychotherapist. And you cannot help people with psychoanalysis. You cannot help people with psychological astrology. That's the, mo that's the most serious. You have to admit you don't help. You can't help. You can offer understanding. You can offer understanding, you can offer explanation, you yeah, can offer support, yeah. but you don't help people. Do you see that? People can, yes, yes. yes. people yes. can try to understand something, and we don't know why this understanding helps.